you for joining us today. We're really excited because we've got a great market leader who's about to give you some incredible insider information that you can only get here. We all know that looking for the best professional for your needs can be intimidating, but here's a little secret. All you really need to know are the right questions to ask. And you're in luck because today's guest is here right now to help. Hi, this is Mark Canty with Release Dynamics, and I'm here with Dr. Loren Hill with Acclivity. Acclivity and Loren help those in academia who are wanting to advance their career, but may be stuck, may not know, you know, even how to go about doing that. And they know that they want to grow in their career in academia. Academia, pardon me. So, Loren, what do you see as you know one of the big obstacles, or one of the main things that causes someone to get stuck, or you know, in their career path, and not to move, or to have trouble advancing in their academic career? So, one of the main things that I have seen uh, is that people don't make themselves a priority. So, they're thinking about their students. They're thinking about their coursework, they're thinking about sort of, you know, the daily things of an academician. And they may not, it may not occur to them that all these things that I'm doing actually will be great for my por my promotion portfolio. Um, and by the time they get around to it, they might have done a lot of things, but they don't have it organized in a way that they can put it together uh, seamlessly for the promotion portfolio. So when you're not thinking about yourself in that regard, it could be a little difficult to move forward for a promotion. That, that makes so much sense. So it sounds to me like what you're saying is, you know, a lot of people kind of wait for it to happen and they're reactive as opposed to being proactive and kind of, you know, designing it the way they want it and choosing to to promote themselves, if you will. Is that kind that of... That is exactly right. That is exactly right. Great, great. So, you know, thinking in that way, when we when we think about hey, you know, I know that I'm not doing anything, I need to do something. Could you give us a few tips, you know, maybe, you know, one or two tips on what someone could do to, you know, to get things moving, you know, what could they do? What steps would they take to get started on this path? Absolutely. So the first tip I would say is start thinking about the promotion process now. It's never too soon, it's never too late, and get in the mindset of, I have to approach this with a strategy. A promotional process involves a strategy. So you have to get in the mindset. That's the first tip. The second tip I would say is go straight to your faculty handbook because your faculty handbook will have all the components of what the promotion entails. So you want to focus on your institution's faculty handbook promotion section, and that'll move you along, uh, you know, quite uh, strategically. Excellent. Those are some great tips. Thanks, Loren. Uh, I, I know that that is going to be something that's going to help people to start to get thinking about how they can be their own, well, self-promoters, really. Uh, exactly. But I also know that, uh, you know, a lot of people get nervous or they, you know, they wonder whether they're even capable or maybe they procrastinate and they don't get it done. So one of the things you and I have discussed was the idea of just having a chat, kind of being able to pick your brain and talk to you and get started on that path and looking at that concept of how would they go about getting some help. So if somebody were interested in doing that and they wanted to reach out and have a talk with you about how they could get help, how they could get somebody like you to hold their hand, how would they go about doing that? Yes, so uh, let me start by saying this is an area of passion for me. I love helping people progress, promote, career development. So I will be your side-by-side -side person to help guide you along. What you want to do to get in touch with me is visit my website, which is www.theacclivity.com. Look for my calendar. Go ahead and click on the calendar. Look for a time that's convenient for you. We'll make it work. Let's set it up and let's get started. I'd love to chat with you. Let's, you know, spend some time figuring out how to get you promoted and how to get that career development moving forward. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Loren. You know, I can't think of, uh, you know, anybody that would be looking at advancing their academic career and wouldn't want to reach out and talk to you. So uh, I appreciate that. And I want to let everybody know that's listening and watching this uh, brief little interview that uh, look around the video, you're going to find uh, the link to the website for uh, Loren so you can follow up and get in touch with her. Uh, we might even have a link to her calendar directly around this video somewhere, but at the very least, theacclivity.com and we're going to make sure that link is directly posted uh, right around this video so that you can get to her quickly. Look for her calendar link. Once you get to the website, you'll get to learn a little bit more about what Loren does and how she might be able to help you and you'll be able to set up a convenient time for you to visit with her. Thank you so much, Dr. Loren Hill with the acclivity and uh, we will see you on the next video thanks mark looking forward to talking to you all and there you have it it's simple to stay focused with the right professional are you interested in finding out more information you can contact today's guest at the number on your screen thanks for stopping by